All right, so um, this is EMT uh, electrical conduit. Bought this from the Home Depot. Uh, it's two ninety nine in bulk. Um, I've sawed it in. Uh, I sawed this pipe in half, uh, Phil Swift style. Um, just what I used for that uh, was I had a. Um, and I got a Milwaukee saw and then a. I don't know, a diamond tip blade for the saw. That's what the blade looks like. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, there's a lot of videos out there of uh, this pipe here and people using hydraulic presses to bend it. I wanted to know uh, whether or not I could hammer it. And so I had to do the, go to the Home Depot and uh, buy some just to do a test. So I'm putting this video out there. Uh, so if people who are interested in using this conduit for say a geodesic dome, I want you to see how easily it bends. So, um, I don't know how heavy this hammer is, maybe like five pounds, but here, okay, actually we won't even use this. We'll use just a standard, you know, hammer. Uh, so here, I'll show you, I'll give it like one, just like I'm hitting a nail hit. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to hold the, the pipe, but here. All right, so I hit the pipe 10 times, about as much force as you need to hit a nail, and it flattens it out uh, pretty quick. So you can use a hand, uh, a hand um, you know, it's like an anvil and a hammer to bend this stuff. You don't need a hydraulic press. Um, and then I just got a quick caliper, or um, a protractor, sorry, uh, and um, just making sure that these are all bent to 15 degrees. So I don't know, it's, it's all right. It's, Whatever, I'm not gonna try to show it, but anyway, uh, yeah, EMT conduit can be bent and can be pounded flat using a hammer.